everybody. I'm Justin Starkey, president of VMP Performance. Welcome back to the channel. I'm here at Magnuson Superchargers in Ventura, California. Now, this is a company that we partnered with to build our line of VMP Superchargers from the Gen 3R to the Odin and anything else Supercharger-wise that we want to do. We are here at their place where all the magic happens. This is where the Superchargers get machined, assembled, and tested. And what I have been wanting to show you forever is the exhaustive testing process that every single Odin supercharger goes through before it is boxed up and it's shipped to VMP and ultimately to you, our customer. Behind me is the supercharger test stand. Now, Magnuson has three test stands. This is the biggest one because the 2650 Odin just takes a lot of horsepower uh, or a lot of electrons to drive. Yes, this test stand is based on an electric motor. Let's go in here and I'll show it to you. This is a completely assembled Odin supercharger. And this is a big electric motor. This is a tiny little room. Vicente over here operates everything in here. He's responsible for getting your Odin supercharger on the stand, running it through its paces, and making sure it doesn't make any weird noises or have any other mechanical problems that would be outside of the normal function of a supercharger. So this machine here, it doesn't look like much, but it is an amazing piece of art. This is like a three quarter inch steel plate bolted to this huge fixture. The motor and the supercharger are all one on this cradle. We were just running this thing. This motor is not even breaking a sweat. I can't tell you how many people would love to have this overdrive pulley on their car. And then up here, this is actually a 2.6 inch pulley used for testing. Most of you that are putting an Odin on your vehicle are not even running a 2.6 inch pulley. So one of the goals of this testing is to run the supercharger hard, burn it in, um, it gets ran for three minutes at different RPM and boost levels, and that is just to test it out, make sure that it meets all the performance specifications that it's required to meet. Air comes in here, goes in here, gets blown out here. That goes out. It goes outside somewhere because when you are running this thing, it is loud. Like you can't even be in this room. Um, if you do, you have to have ear protection on. So I actually set up my GoPro inside the room while this thing was running. You can get a taste of what's going on here. Uh, we're gonna show you that. So I'm back outside the room with Vicente and he is going to walk you through the test process. This guy is meticulous, thorough. He starts with the door open in case anything happens right from the get-go. He hears it and he can immediately stop. But I'm gonna go ahead and give it over to you for you to do your thing. Alright, so we'll first pull off the emergency, reset it, and start it. Yes. Oh yes. Right from the get-go, they go all the way with this thing. You start the timer. So this is the process right here. You might kind of wonder why it's in Hertz. Well, AC motors on variable frequency drives are the speeds controlled based on Hertz. So that gives you a, a different threshold several different thresholds to test at, and most importantly, listen at to make sure there's no knocking of the rotors or any excessive noise from the supercharger. So now Vicente is lowering the RPM, but upping the boost.
This is where the supercharger is really working. So the final test is a low frequency, lower boost. This is basically everything you could possibly do with your car and then some. And then that's it. Um, the supercharger is pulled off and set aside to cool and then packaged up and sent to VMP and ultimately to you. So this end of line test is really, really important. It's actually a requirement when you are selling Eaton TVS based superchargers. Magnuson has to maintain a strict quality program and one of those things is testing these superchargers. Now, for you, the end consumer, this, this means several things. Uh, the supercharger shows up with oil already in it, and oil has to be in it because it was just ran on this thing to 15,000 plus RPM. Um, this also allows Magnuson to make sure there are no noises, make sure there are no issues. You know, you saw it right there. The supercharger makes boost, it works and that guarantees it's going to perform on your vehicle when you install it. I have just been itching to show everybody this for a long time, and we had a great opportunity. The folks at Magnuson, like Vicente and Dan, head of operations here, were gracious enough to let us into their shop on a Tuesday and let us take some video of the different processes. Thank you to Odin for making the boost. The supercharger will be on a car or truck near you. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share. I'll see you next time.